Good day, shutter mates. For the first episode of our behind the scenes series, join me at the set of Fujifilm Philippines X810 campaign with Miss Bea Minene. I want you to show me how to get to know someone like you, someone like you. I want you to know me, cause I know then you'll see. You can be true, you can be true. I want you to see what I see in us. Something so real, something so real. I want you to see that this is a love we both feel. So, how was the tour sa set? Ayos ba? Now, let's break down the shoot. I'm going to show you 5 pictures na kuha natin. I'll be giving you the specific camera settings we used. And I'm going to show you the light placements as well as other specifics ng bawat shot. All shots were taken with Fujifilm X-T2 and 35mm 1.4 lens. Let's start with this first picture. Our camera is set at an aperture value of f8. Para sakto lang yung sharpness. Shutter speed of 1 over 125, which is enough to avoid camera shakes as well as enough to kill off the ambient light since we are using strobes. Our ISO naman was set at 200, which is the lowest native ISO of the Fujifilm X-T2. We use two strobes for this layout. The first is our main RT light with a meter reading of f8. Modifier used was a 150cm octabox. The light was placed in front of Bea at about 20% higher than her height and angled down to her face. The second light was placed as a keeper with a meter reading of about f10 so that hindi ganun ka overblown yung rim light. Modifier used was a rectangular softbox na hindi masyado nakatutok sa subject for feathered light effect. For this shot, niretain natin yung camera settings as well as yung placement ng unang dalawang ilaw. At yung meter reading nila. The only difference is, nagdagdag tayo ng isa pang strobe sa kanan as another kicker. Meter reading is also F10. For our third image, 
Mix lighting naman ang ginamit natin, meaning magkakahalong ring LED light, strobe light, and room ambient light. Our camera was set to an aperture of 1.4 to let as much light as possible to get into our lens. Shutter speed naman at 1 over 80 to give light much time to enter our camera and ISO of 500 to make our sensor more sensitive to light which is well handled by our X-T2. We placed our ring LED light on the left serving as key light. Slightly angled off center of the subject din yung pagkakapwesto so that feathered lang yung light cast kay Bea and to light up the sofa and the wall sa left. We placed a flash gun naman sa boom stand to illuminate the back wall. And lastly, we placed the reflector in front as fill light. This fourth layout is for me the most challenging among the set. Ang sikip ng space and at the same time, halo-halo din yung ilaw sa place. My warm LED, my white, tapos ang lakas din ng color cast ng yellow walls. For the newbies, yes. Kapag nagsushoot ka ng wide open aperture and slow shutter speed at within a confined area, may effect ang kulay ng lahat ng bagay sa set. Yung wall, yung floor, yung kisame, at minsan pati yung t-shirt na suot mo. Lahat yan, pwedeng mag-cast ng unwanted na kulay sa subject mo. For this shot, we set our aperture to f1.8. Although 1.4 ang widest ng lens na gamit natin, kailangan isaw ng konti dahil kailangan may detalye pa yung Instax share which is nawawala sa 1.4 na opening. Since nag-adjust tayo ng aperture, kinaasan din natin ang ating ISO. From 500, nasa 640 na tayo. Nabanggit ko kanina na halo-halo yung ilaw dito sa area na to. So to be able to minimize the color cast issue, ginamit na lang natin ang modeling light ng strobe natin which is a 100 watts na light bulb dahil warm LED mostly yung naka-install sa kisame. So majority ng ilaw natin is yellow at madali na lang ayusin ng white balance niya. For our final image, sobrang simple lang ng light setup and camera setup natin dito. For the camera, F8. 1 over 160 dahil kailangan natin patayin yung ambient light. Then ISO 200. In actuality, flat lighting ang ginawa natin dito. Tweaky yung ganitong klaseng ilaw dahil ang magdadala ng shot is yung hair, makeup, and styling. Sa hair, kailangan may waves or curls ang buhok para may multi layers na tatamaan ng ilaw. Sa makeup, dapat sakto ang mga contours para sa dimension. And sa damit, Ako mabalance ang fabric color and skin exposure. Blessed tie that we were able to work with the industry's top people. Julia Fesh who did the hair, Robbie Pinera for the makeup, and Jeff Galang on styling. Otherwise, magmumukhang LTO picture lang tong shot na to. Ganito lang pa simple yung setup natin. Leo was leaning against the wall, the light was directly above my head, and eye level ni Bea. Modifier use was just your standard reflector. I really hope na may natutunan kayo from this video. If you have other questions or things that you'd like to clarify, just comment down below. And please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Have a blessed day.